Amp2.tv presents Tell Us Your Business, where you're invited on the air to tell us what makes your business stand out in the community. It's important we hear from you to tell us all we need to know about what you do best. Tell Us Your Business uses the latest radio and television production systems, and all shows can be seen on Amp2.tv. If you have a question for our guest, call 888-565-1470. Now. Let's get ready as our guest hits the airways and informs us about what we need to know on Tell Us Your Business. You're on. Very good. Hello, Freddie. Uh, thank you so much for having me on the program. I really appreciate it. It's your show. Keep going. Okay. Yes, I've been part of, my name is Barry Raphael, and I've been part of the Lumonics Light and Sound Theater and Gallery and Light Art School that's currently based in Denver, Colorado. I had lived in Florida for many years as part of this project, and uh, when I actually Part of our, our journey was around the country. It's a multimedia project created by light artist Mel and Dorothy Tanner, who are now both deceased. And I happened to meet them when I was teaching school in Chicago. And uh, a friend of mine, who uh, actually a friend of my family, had been an instructor at one of the colleges in South Florida. And a few of the other professors brought him to this space, it was a, in a warehouse, and it was a multimedia space filled with light sculptures, and the tanners would do, from a projection booth, they would do live projection, and it was a, a very amazing experience, and he got to meet the tanners and asked them if they would be interested in moving to Chicago, which is where I had been teaching school, and the tanners expressed interest, and he brought them to Chicago back in 1971 in the uh, uh, early winter, and I had a chance to meet them, and I was very taken with them, and I was looking for a particular breakthrough in my own life, and also for the students that I was teaching as well, and uh, this project that they had, this multimedia experience, seemed quite exciting to me. So I went down to Florida over Christmas vacation to actually see the theater, and I was so taken with it, and it it, it changed my life. And we couldn't find a place in uh, in Chicago to relocate to, so I temporarily went down to Florida to be part of the project, and uh, until uh, some place in Chicago could be found, and I ended up being on this journey since 1972. And we've had, uh, my goal was to have a, um, a field trip program. Um, it stimulated me so much uh, from a creative point of view that I felt it would have great benefit to students of all ages. And we did have a field trip program in, in Miami, where we were for quite a few years. And then we traveled to San Diego, and then we traveled to Bangor, Maine, and then we returned to South Florida in Fort Lauderdale. And actually, when we were setting up in Fort Lauderdale, I was looking for uh, some additional uh, part-time work, and I began working for a uh, uh, home furnishings company that did, did cleaning of carpet, furniture, tile, area rugs, and uh, draperies. And I began working for them, and I developed quite a nice uh, customer base over the years that when we relocated to Denver uh, in 2008, I maintained my uh, customer base there. So if any of viewers live in South Florida, mainly in Palm Beach County and Broward, uh, you can reach me on my mobile phone at 954-849-5528.
But the love of my life has been this Lumonics project. And uh, I'd like you all to uh, you can get more information on the Internet about our uh, company. And it's www.lumonics, that's L-U-M-O-N-I-C-S dot net. And you could get a lot of information uh, about us. We have had many different uh, museum and gallery and art center uh, exhibits over the years. And um, uh, two years ago, we had an exhibit at the McNichols Building, which is uh, one of the oldest buildings in Denver. It was the original home of the uh, Carnegie uh, Library in Denver. It was the first library in this area. And they converted it to an art center building. And we had a first floor exhibit there. And uh, it really had a, a great effect on the public. Uh, we called it the Lumonics Mind Spa. And the idea was to uh, simulate the body, mind, and the spirit. And uh, Dorothy Tanner, the uh, co-founder of our project, uh, won the Denver Mayor's Award for Innovation in the Arts. Um, she was uh, 96 at the time. And uh, unfortunately, she recently um, passed away. But she and her late husband, Mel, have left us an amazing legacy of, uh, of you to share with the public. We began a, um, a light art school uh, where we teach people how to actually create uh, light art. Now, it's interesting that the, um, what we teach people is how to make a lighted geometric shape, which is a cube. And that was actually the, the first pieces that the Tanners began in 1967 prior to forming Lumonics. And uh, they were geometric shapes, cubes and columns and cylinders. And those were the building blocks of this amazing art form, which has really expanded over the years so that there are extremely large uh, wall sculptures and freestanding sculptures, all lighted. Um, and they have an amazing of transformative effect on people. Um, we currently have a, an exhibit in uh, downtown Denver, which is part of the uh, parade of lights that Denver has uh, every winter uh, around the uh, Christmas holidays. And we're in an exhibit at the Understudy Gallery right by the Denver Convention Center. And it's called a, a, a fishbowl uh, exhibition because you could only view it from the outside, which is appropriate during the uh, times of uh, COVID. So you could walk around the windows and see the light art. And uh, it's, it's, quite a, uh, it's quite a beautiful thing to encounter. And when we, we actually had to stop our art school back in March when the pandemic began. Um, prior to that, we had students of all ages uh, mostly older and a lot of women who were uh, coming to the class. It's a uh, it's a 12-hour a class that we do over four sessions, uh, three hours at a time. And uh, we teach people how to uh, cut the material, how to assemble it. And then after it's assembled, which usually takes about four or five hours of the 12, they began to um, to decorate it. They, we have a lot of different art materials there, uh, paintings and cut shapes, and sometimes people bring their own. And um, they actually um, create these amazing uh, cubes that they keep. They're lighted from within. And a year ago at this time, we exhibited many of the students' cubes at... Um, at a space, an art space called the storefront, and it was really, uh, it's really wonderful to see it. To see it's a very, it was very festive having the pieces in the window, and we actually had some of our pieces as well. So that was a very satisfying experience, and uh, we're also involved with a company called Meow Wolf, 
which is a um, uh, a company that began in Santa Fe, New Mexico. It was funded by George R. R. Martin, and he was the uh, creator of Book of Thrones. And there was kind of a, a group of uh, artists were in the uh, Santa Fe area, and he um, offered to buy them a uh, a bowling alley that was empty, and they converted it into an attraction, uh, a immersive attraction, that was kind of a hands-on experience uh, and a very experiential um, type space. And it's become the uh, fastest growing and most popular exhibit in in the New Mexico area. And they are beginning a Meow Wolf Denver. Uh, The building is under construction now. And, of course, it's been delayed a bit because of the pandemic. But it's expected to open in the fall of 2021. And they invited Lumonix to have the first art exhibit in the Convergence Street Gallery that they're creating. And uh, we're on a floor that is called City Streets, and it kind of simulates a city street uh, with a movie theater and nightclub and a lot of immersive exhibits that um, you just wander from room to room. And one of the rooms will be our art gallery. So that's very exciting for us as well. And uh, so that's sort of what keeps us up to date with our project. Um, We normally, under conditions without COVID, we do events for the public in our art gallery. We bring in musicians and DJs, and uh, we also host workshops for people and unfortunately um, we haven't been able to do that at this time but it's something that uh, hopefully in the spring we'll be able to get back into again so we've been we've been quite busy considering there there is a uh, pandemic happening and Denver has been affected uh, not so much at the beginning but it has been quite a bit uh, it's gotten much more serious this past uh, month or so. So that's why, at least with our exhibit that we have downtown, it can be viewed from the uh, outside only because most of the uh, buildings on the inside have been are closed at the moment. Um, a little bit about the background of the Tanners, uh, the, the founders of Lumonix. They were they met in in Brooklyn at the Brooklyn Museum School of Art, which is no longer. But at the time, uh, there were a lot of interesting instructors, including um, Max Beckman, who had to come to this country during World War II to get away from the Nazis. And um, Mel actually was in the service, and he was one of the uh, first uh, group of students to get the GI Bill. And uh, Mel will tell us about Max Beckman, that he didn't speak a word of English, but his wife was with him to translate to the students. And Dorothy was uh, taking classes there as well. And uh, on a date, uh, one of the students told Dorothy, I'd really like you to uh, visit this uh, my friend's uh, art studio in, the, in a basement. And he's really doing great work. And... Dorothy went on the date and went to Mel's studio, and she was really uh, kind of flabbergasted at the work that Mel was doing. It was not the work of a student. It was very finished artwork in the expressionistic style, which uh, a non-objective painting, which was kind of happening at that time. And uh, they really hit it off, and they got married, and they started an art school, And um, they moved to Syracuse, New York, where they were teaching art. Dorothy would teach sculpture. Mel would teach painting. And after a couple of years, they kind of had the urge to get back into Manhattan again. And they opened up a co-op gallery. 
And that's where they uh, started to do sculptures and artwork for uh, different corporations where it was called, they named it corporate image work. So that they would, for example, General Electric was one of their clients when they came out with the uh, pacemaker for the heart. And they would create um, the uh, a shape, a geometric shape that would house the, um, the pacemaker. And they did this for a number of different companies incorporating their projects. And that's where they became familiar with, that was their introduction to plexiglass which is the material that they use today. And uh, almost all of the light sculptures are made from that material. And it's really interesting because it lights very easily. It also, it's light in weight and um, it has reflective qualities as well. So that when you get really close to these pieces, a lot of them from a distance, for example, Mel's uh, wall sculptures, they look flat at a distance. But when you get close to them, you see many different layers of um, paintings, and it's built out with uh, different geometric shapes. So it, they're just fascinating to look at. And whenever we do an exhibit, it just creates a lot of attention. We had a, um, a retrospective that took place uh, in 2017 uh, at the Museum of Outdoor Arts in Englewood, which is just outside of Denver. And it was an amazing display. We had one room called the Black Box Gallery that was filled with Dorothy sculptures, and we do video so that we um, project on a, on a screen with abstract art um, that's really quite extraordinary. And uh, one room after another is its own world. It's, it's just a fantastic experience for, for people to encounter. So if you are ever in Denver, I welcome you to visit us. Again, our website is www.lumonics.net. And we could be reached at 303-568-9406. And I want to mention a little bit about the, uh, the Lumonics experience and its effect on people. Uh, when the Tanners began the, uh, the theater, which was right around the uh, landing of the moon, uh, the astronauts landing on the moon in 1969, they began this experience that they created for people. And you would come in to this room, experience the artwork, and you'd be then seated. And the tanners from a projection booth would project, they would create these uh, slides in the studio, these two by two inch slides, and project it on a 20 by 30 foot wall and create live paintings. And the effect of it was very powerful on people. Uh, after, after a couple of hours, people really, really got a little disoriented too and had a little trouble even getting up. It was that powerful of an experience. And we're hoping to one day be able to uh, recreate that space again. Uh, our studio in Denver is a little bit different. We don't have as large of a space to project on, although it is quite powerful. But in our space itself that we have in Denver, it's a combination of an art gallery, performance space, our light art school, and our studio for creating work. And uh, we get a lot done in it. It's a, it's a, it's a really quite a, quite a space to, uh, to encounter. And uh, if any of you have any questions, you're welcome to call in. I'd be happy to answer them for you. Um, another aspect of, uh, of what we do is video. And that's a technique that was based on the live performances that, were, that began in Miami, where the tanners, as I mentioned, projected on a large wall. 
And we were able to simulate it through video. And at the beginning of the year, we did a project uh, in Denver uh, called Nightlights Denver. And there's a kind of a landmark building called the Clock Tower. That's um, about 25 stories high. And we created a, a specially formatted video that uh, was projected onto the um, building. And it's really an amazing thing to encounter. And it's right by what's called the 16th Street Mall, a very popular area. And um, that was a really wonderful experience to be able to create the video. And we continue to do other um, video projects as well. Um, Denver's uh, quite active in the, uh, in the arts, although it's been curtailed during the pandemic. But there is a lot of uh, projection on, um, on buildings now and, the, and, and public art, and we're going to be continuing to display our work um, wherever we have an opportunity to. When it was really quiet during the pandemic, we were able to exhibit in an uh, area in Denver called Thornton and the Arts and Culture Center uh, enabled us to have an exhibit there and uh, practicing social distancing. And it was a really nice thing because starting in March, things were so quiet here. So we were able to establish this exhibit in June and it ran until September. And uh, it, it had a, a nice effect for people because it was an opportunity for them to get out of the house. Everybody uh, has really been kind of lying low. And, uh, so that was a that was a nice thing to have done, and we're looking forward to this exhibit that we just started in downtown Denver at the Understudy Gallery, and that's going to be happening uh, through January 30th and through the holidays. So it's been a really nice to be able to uh, to share the Lumonics experience with all of you. And I, uh, I just hope that uh, you'll have a chance to um, visit us when in Denver. And again, uh, people that are located in South Florida, I'm still available for the cleaning service. And uh, we've been practicing uh, very safe guidelines if, for anybody that's concerned, um, which they should be. And uh, again, the number there is 954-849. 5528 and that's my uh, that's my mobile phone number uh, I really uh, appreciate everybody uh, having an opportunity to take the time to uh, to hear um, about lumonics and about my work at the uh, at masters cleaning and uh, I, it's been a very exciting life for me um, I was thinking of becoming a, uh, a teacher and a guidance counselor when I was back in Chicago. And uh, it, it's been very exciting being, uh, being part of this uh, Lumonics experience. I, I miss the Tanners, they're both now deceased, but they left us an amazing legacy of art. And they're really, um, Dorothy is very revered in, um, in Denver and her, uh, her passing uh, affected a lot of people. We got an award. Uh, well, it was actually Dorothy got the mayor's award um, a couple of years back, but she received a really lovely letter from the uh, mayor Hancock of Denver, uh, really admiring the contribution that she made to the Denver art scene, and also from one the minute mayor to the bumper. It, uh, from the adjoining uh, central city where we've actually had some light installations as well. So thank you so much for the opportunity to, uh, for me to make this presentation to you. And uh, I, I look forward to, uh, to meeting some of you at Lumonics or if you do need the cleaning service as well. So thank you again. I truly appreciate it.
This has been Tell Us Your Business, where a special guest comes on every week and tells us what they do. All shows can be seen on amp2.tv. And if you wish to be a guest, call 866-224-5422 and tell us about your business. That's 866-224-5422. This has been an amp2.tv production.